Barbies, I'll be reviewing the Mesograph Pen Caliper, or as I call it, the Caliper Pen. It has a ruler, it has a caliper, it has a tire tread gauge, and a thread scale all in one. So I'll be checking to see if how accurate the calipers are, and I'm going to do a side by side comparison with the uh, digital calipers compared to this caliper, and I'll be testing out the tire gauge uh, to see how it works, and I'll show you what it does, and I'll also uh, take it apart. So let's go and check that out. Here's a pen. I got this pen from Adafruit, which I'll give the link to in the description below. It's made out of chromium plated brass with a retractable ballpoint pen. It's nice that it's all metal, but unfortunately it tracks fingerprints due to chrome plating. What I've also noticed is that every time I would retract the pen, it's very quiet compared to a typical pen that you would buy at a local store. And being the engineer that I am, I'm going to take it apart and see what the insides look like. Mm. Exciting! Ooh, look at the build quality. So nice. The construction is well done too. So here's the barrel. Grab that. And the pen cartridge that it comes with. So from other user experiences, the ink cartridge tends to uh, smear for left-handed writers. Well, the not the ink cartridge, but I meant the ink. But you get what I mean. So what you can do is replace the cartridge that is found in the typical pen, like this one here, and see how cookie this is and noisy. That's very annoying. So let's replace it. So see how you can, see how similar they are? Very nice, cool. Now let's use this one to replace it. Ah, it works. So the wedge shape style pen barrel might make it a little bit awkward to write with for first time users, but you will get used to it. So here is a five millimeter bolt that I'll test with to see how accurate it is compared to my digital calipers that I, hear, that I have right here. So the pen, let's get this pen away. The pen has millimeters, this way. has millimeters on one side and inches on the other side. But I'll use the millimeter side to do the comparison. So the significant digits on the millimeter side can go up to one millimeter at increments, while the inches side can go with increments of 116. So let's compare the accuracy with the digital calipers. Turn that on, zero it for the heck of it, and measure it. So it is about 4.8, 4.75 to be exact. And let's use the pen calipers. It is about five millimeters, which is what we want. Obviously the digital calipers are more accurate, but the pen calipers give you a pretty good idea of what you are measuring. So another feature of the pen is the thread scale, which is on the back. So this is the thread scale. Unfortunately, I've tried to understand what the list means. I know the numbers on the left correspond to the diameter of a screw. The list on the right says that it is for bore measurements, which I don't really understand. Maybe you know. So please leave a comment below what you might think the list means. Now, I'll show you how the tire gauge works. Mm, let's do that, all right. So let's make sure the slider's all the way to the end of the pen, but don't forget to retract the pen. Eh. Good. And place 
place the tip of the pen on top of the tread of the tire that you want to measure and then the tip of the gauge in the gap of the tire. And you can see right here, let's put it up right here, what the number is in the tire tread language. It looks like it is in millimeters and I'm, I'm assuming that it is, if, if it's below five, you should definitely change your tire. But of course, consult with your local auto mechanic. So now I'll go outside and demonstrate how it works. Here I am next to my car and I'm going to try out how thick my treads are. Let's do that. Ooh, see that? It says that it's about three. Oh my gosh, I should definitely change my tires. This is a great pen for an on the go engineer. And even if you're not an engineer, it's really cool to just show it off to your friends. So I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and put a comment below just to say how cool this pen is. No, just kidding. Uh, if you know the thread scale or if you understand it, please comment below. I definitely want to know what it, what it is. So I hope you like this video. See you next week. Bye.